Alright folks, I wanted to do a quick video here. It's an update video for my car-based first aid kit that I did uh, originally about a year ago. But before we get started looking through this thing, why don't you go grab yourself a nice cold one, come on back, and we'll get started. Alright, hopefully everybody made it back. When I did the original video about a year ago, I got some great suggestions from viewers in the comments below uh, saying, hey, maybe you should add this or take a look at this or have you thought about that? And uh, so I made some updates to this and any suggestions or recommendation you folks have, please put them in the comments below and uh, let's go ahead and get started. And this is the first aid kit that is in my vehicle. Uh, we keep one in each vehicle and it gets used. So the contents are constantly changing. Let's go ahead and open this up. Last time when I made the video, I just gotten this this bag, this uh, medical bag, and I was complaining about the potential for things to fall out. And somebody said, "Hey, go ahead and use these flaps that were tucked down." I didn't see them, so thank you to whoever told me that. All right, so getting started, what we have here, and some of this is going to be the same as last time. Just as cheap uh, mylar first aid blanket, and I keep things in here like uh, sun protectant, and then this would be some bug spray. Here are some some scissors. Uh, medical shears, and then here we have some tweezers. Over in this pouch, I have some some masks, some medical masks. Now, some people are like, why wouldn't you get like a respirator mask or something that can block small uh, particles or small drops of liquid? Uh, I have those here at the house, but I'm not sure that it's something I'm going to need in the car. So I just have these, and uh, hopefully I won't ever have to use them. I'm also constrained with some space. This is a pretty heavy, kind of a big bag. Two pairs of nitrile gloves, one black, one blue. And then I have some triple antibiotic ointment. And I believe that's everything in these front two pouches. Let's go ahead and take a look in the side pouch and see what we have here. Just a box of Band-Aids. And then a box of Band-Aid large um, non-stick gauze pads. Take a quick look over here on this side, see what we got. So we got some more, more gauze pads, some alcohol pads and some wet wipes. Some more gauze pads here, maybe I'm overdoing it on those. And then this would be a bag of rolled gauze. Alright, and then over here looking in the main compartment, let's see what we got. I have a couple of these. This is just a pill container that has various things. Some Pepto, some uh, Benadryl, a couple other pills in here. And then when you open this up, it's how you, it's how you access your stuff and some stuff over here. Nothing too exciting. In the back... I have a thing of Gatorade. This is fruit punch flavor. The reason I have this in here, somebody could be dehydrated or they could have low blood sugar and it was something that you could give them to help them up. Then we have some antiseptic. This is like Bactine, I think is what it's called. But this is really good for cleaning wound areas. This is an Israeli bandage. It's good for compression. Uh, it's a compression type bandage that's good for stopping bleeding. If, uh, if that doesn't work, then I have this tourniquet. Here is a little bit better, this is called a survival blanket, but essentially it's a mylar bag that you could give somebody's in shock or somebody's cold, hypothermic, this could help warm them up. Right, look at here, got another pair of scissors. I'll just go ahead and drop that up here in this front pouch. I believe this is an air mask for doing uh, CPR, but it's kind of a piece of junk, so I'll probably get rid, actually I'll get rid of it right now. I don't need that. Um, here's some quick clot, anti-clotting uh, sponge, or clotting sponge, not anti. And then here's a little bit of a bigger of a bigger one. You have to be really careful with these. These can cause problems uh, if you use them. So I would only use these if you know how to use them, and then also in a pretty serious situation. If somebody's cut or bleeding, I think you want to try to stop it with, uh, with pressure. Here's some burn dressing. I uh, probably should pick a couple more of these up or some bigger ones. Um, with cars and stuff, I think the potential for a bird is probably a little bit higher, so that's something I probably want to want to invest in. 
these are some of those insta cold packs you just give them a squeeze and then all of a sudden you have a cold pack for a bump or a bruise or something like that and it looks like something came off of a gauze band or an ace bandage over on this side let me go ahead and get this open is a CPR mask and this one is supposed to be able to fit adults and children I don't know about infants Go ahead and put that over there. And then uh, we have some hurt-free antiseptic wash. This stuff comes in pretty handy. One of uh, one of my nephews, he's 13, was uh, playing around on a treadmill, something he shouldn't do. Uh, he fell and got a really bad, uh, kind of like a road rash from the, from the treadmill running. My wife ran out to her car real quick and grabbed the first aid kit that's in there, which is pretty much a mirror of this one. And was able to use this and some gauze and stuff to clean clean him up and, uh, and keep him happy. Uh, just some isopropyl rubbing alcohol and then some hydrogen peroxide then I got this stuff it looks like it's called Coflex but it's like an adhesive ace bandage uh, it works pretty well it's it's self adhering so you could use this uh, in the event that you have to hold a bandage in place or you wanted to wrap somebody up and then uh, in all my first aid kits I just keep a bunch of these uh, these are this one's Velcro. Uh, I don't think this one is. Just ace bandages for ankle twists or sprains, or if you want to hold something immobilized or hold a bandage on. Some some medical tape. Uh, here, two type two different types. And then here is uh, some more su secure flex wrap, kind of like the blue stuff I just showed you guys. And then this was one of the recommendations that I got last time was uh, using a, a Sam splint. And these are pretty good. You can see there's a couple different use cases here for sore wrist. Maybe somebody hurt their arm or, or elbow. You can use it to do an ankle splint. Um, pretty handy. These aren't too expensive. Uh, I went out and I bought these after the comment in my last video and put them in all the first aid kits. So thanks to whoever recommended that. And then I just have a lock, lock bag here of band-aids. I'll probably take all the band-aids out of the other box. Just go ahead and drop them in there. And I believe that's it. So anyhow, that is my mobile car-based um, first aid kit. Any uh, any comments below? Be welcome. Thanks.